Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today I do have my prediction and preview ahead of Huddersfield versus Hull City, live in Huddersfield at the St. John Smith, whatever the place is called, stadium. Um, yes, it should be a, quite a good unfair, um, considering the form that both teams come into this game, will be quite a close one for what Hull City would rather have. Um, it's going to be a nice game, so let's crack straight into the preview ahead of the game in Huddersfield tomorrow, 3pm kickoff. So, an injury update. No new injury updates, no players out, no players in, um, other than um, Cyrus Christie, Adama Traore and Aaron Conley, who have been on the bench for the past two games, other than Cyrus Christie. Um, but they both have been involved a bit more into the training um, uh, the training ground in Cottingham, and um, Rosini has said that he's happy with um, all three's progress, um, Connolly and and um, Christy both being out with injury, their progress is a bit more significant than Triore's just being out at AFCON. No official word on when Seri's going to be back. I highly doubt he'll be back for this game, just considering the fact that he is an African champion and he will be celebrating. So I presume that he won't be back for this game and maybe not for the Southampton game on Tuesday. But beyond that, I presume that he will be back and it'll be nice to give him a good welcome home as hopefully uh, for the West Brom game. Okay, let's crack into my Hull City predicted starting 11. It's b b powered by our friends over at FanHub. FanHub, it's a fantastic app. It's free, it's brilliant, it supports f football fans for free for just being a fan of a football club. Doesn't have to be Hull City, you can be any club that you would like. Um, use my link down in the description and then my golden ticket code HUL-IZR. That'll let you skip the queue. You'll get rewarded for using my code and I'll get rewarded, so why would you not use it? FanHub, you can predict your starting 11 for your team. You can predict five games in a week. You can get all the news and content that you'd like with your team um, and plenty, plenty more. They've released plenty new features weeks on weeks. Uh, so why would you not go and use it? Link in the description. There we go. My whole city predicted starting 11. Only one change is what, I, what I'm predicting, um, and that being that Alsop retains a spot in net. Of course, he did have the blunder, which let us uh, go 1-0 down in four minutes against Rotherham. Uh, but other than that, I thought he had a really good game against Rotherham. I really bounced back from that error in the fourth minute. Uh, back four remains unchanged with Louis Coyle, Alfie Jones, Jacob Greaves, and Ryan Giles. Obviously, Ryan Giles had a corker of the game. He got my man of the match against Rotherham, or should I say my golden card, um, as we do on this channel. Channel. Um, and I thought his, his second half performance was unmatched. Really, really phenomenal. So hopefully more of that to come against Huddersfield. The midfield two of Regan Slater and Tyler Morton. Of course, you could make a con connotation um, that Regan Slater could possibly be swapped out for Ozan Tuthan uh, because I thought that Tuthan made a really, really positive effort when he came on. Um, and really, the, the only two goals for Hull City came when Tuthan came on. So um, maybe bringing Slater off and putting Tuthan on for this game would be a bit of a, a bit of a, a shaky one, but I think Tufan might appear from the bench. So ahead of them, Fabio Carvalho, Anas Zorori, who had a bit of a had a bit of a stinky game, but we'll all glaze over that. And then Philogene, uh, of course, he might have a puss cast goal. We'll cover more of that in a second. And then obviously my one change being Nor Ohio scored in his second appearance for the Tigers. Uh, he's on a brilliant XG rating at the moment because of the amount of minutes he's played compared to his one goal. And uh, hopefully he can shine a light in tomorrow's game even more. Okay, other news. So you may see there, we have our next head-to-head -head of the food items. So we decide what food goes into the concourse for the West Brom, Birmingham and Leicester game at home. And that being a toad in the hole or peri-peri chicken. Now I must say that the butter chicken was phenomenal. But I think that toad in the hole will be even better. So I've voted for toad in the hole. You decide, go over to the uh, Hull City app or we are Hull City on, on Google or whatever browser you use. No affiliations. Um, and go and decide but choose Toad in the Hole. <laughs> so uh, that's that's our head-to-head. Philogene, -head. Uh, I did say it before, he might have a Puskas goal because the goal was officially awarded as his. Yes, um, after some review, the Sky, EFL, all that sort of stuff, they've uh, officially announced that the goal is Jane and Philogene's, which is nice. So he might actually get a Puskas for the Nutmegs and then the Rabona. Um, 
the audacity to do it when we was 1-0 down was uh, was absolutely immense. Uh, and then one final bit, other bit of news, uh, that the EFL have launched the first ever LGBTQ plus uh, football. Uh, so the Puma Rainbow Ball will be coming into effect in the EFL. I'm not sure if it's for it's going to be in for this game or if it's something a bit further down the line um, in connotations with um, possibly rainbow laces or, or something along them lines. But it's nice to see that we do have the first ever um, ball to mark LGBTQ plus history month. So that is nice. Last meetings. We'll crack back onto the Huddersfield game. So, of course, we met them earlier on in the season. It was a nice 1-0 win for the Tigers on the 11th of November. Um, so, could we see more of that? Possibly. Uh, of course, last two meetings at Huddersfield's ground, uh, both ended in a 2-0 loss last season and the season beforehand. I was there both times, so I'm not risking it tomorrow. I'm instead going down to London, so I will have my react match reaction from after the game, possibly in London. So we'll see on that one. Um, but yeah, so hopefully it's not another 2-0 loss at Huddersfield. Our form does tell a bit of an interesting story. Of course, Huddersfield picked up a massive 1-0 win at home against Sunderland on Wednesday on Wednesday night. And then they nearly pulled off a remarkable win against Southampton. Of course, Southampton, their form's dipping a little bit now that they've uh, they've lost their streak after losing on, on Tuesday night. But they nearly lost to Huddersfield. Huddersfield went up, I think, 3-1 in the end. Uh, and then Southampton did claw it back to a 5-3 win. Um, of course, a, a win against Sheffield Wednesday as well. 4-0 win. That's... Um, of course, Sheffield Wednesday not being uh, a brilliant team this season. But for no wins, nothing too, uh, too shy about. Of course, our form in the last five, three wins, two losses. That's quite good as well. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we can pick up the three points tomorrow. It would be much needed. As we look onto the table, we sit in eighth after all fixtures from last week. Um, we could bounce back up into, into sixth uh, with a win. Of course, a lot of places at the moment around the spot of us between like sixth and ninth are all depending on uh, like one point or goal difference or something along them lines. So a big win tomorrow could actually help us uh, in the long run rather than just in that short run of getting us back up to sixth. We'll probably bounce down a few places depending on other results. Huddersfield sitting in 20th. Uh, their recent forms really sort of getting them away from that relegation battle. And hopefully we can do something to stop that. More for Hull's case. <laughs> um, player to watch out for. I've gone for Sorba Thomas. Um, he is having a fantastic run of form with Huddersfield's brilliant run of form that they're going on at the moment. In the championship this season, four goals and nine assists. Yes, that's 13 goal contributions for a struggling Huddersfield town side. Uh, he's played 30 matches for them this season so far. I think he's only missed out on one. Um, so that's fantastic for him. 24 years old, um, a young Welsh international. Um, and he's doing absolutely fantastic. He's been picking up goals and assists in the past few games. I believe he picked up a goal and assist in the Southampton game. Uh, and then obviously... Um, in the Sheffield Wednesday game, so he's certainly going to be a player to watch out for. Um, need to need to stop him from doing whatever he wants to do. That's all I'm going to say. Score prediction then. 2-1 win. Another 2-1 win away in a Yorkshire derby. Second time in a week. <laughs> um, but I think this one will be a bit more of a clinical performance from Hull City rather than uh, the, the dark spell that we saw in the first half against um, Rotherham until them sort of last 10-15 minutes. Uh, hopefully this will be a bit more of a dominant fashion win uh, for the Tigers. I think that we do need that sort of dominant output right from the start. We've seen it too much this season where we've been putting out sloppy first halves um, and then we need to really tighten up in the second half after that Liam Rosina team talk and that Liam Rosina team talk must be doing wonders because it has done uh, for majority of the season I mean we saw in the Rotherham game we've seen in plenty of other games this season where we've come out in the second half and really sort of changed the game with how we've performed uh, so goals for the Tigers I think Philogene well why not he'll grab, a, grab another one I don't think this one will be quite Puskas worthy but I think that he will grab another one uh, as he is currently Hull City's leading goal scorer um, and then obviously Anas Zarawi I think he might get his first goal for the Tigers he was uh, I think his performance against Rotherham was a bit something shaky. Uh, he was unlucky not to get one against Millwall, of course, that one ricocheting off the crossbar. So hopefully he can contribute with his first Tigers goal tomorrow. I'll leave you with that photo of Adjanila Jolly. As you comment down below your score prediction for this game, everything that you would like me to know about ahead of this game. Obviously, make sure you like and subscribe. As I said, I will have my match reaction out live from London tomorrow. Um, yes, I might 
might pop over to Wembley to go and get out in front of Wembley where Hull City might be in a few months time so make sure you like and subscribe so you do not miss that one also follow me over on Twitter to get a live up today on everything Hull City and up the Tigers you know what go on <laughs>